All right, I'm out here at the railroad crossing on Troy Street, which is Alabama State Route 10 in uh, Brundage, Alabama. Got a few changes here because there was a truck that hit. There was, there was a tra truck stuck on the crossing, got hit by a train here, wiped out the far signal. But thankfully, CSX has left this old ACL signal here mostly untouched. But unfortunately, as you can see, we now have a more modern reflective crossbuck, and the cat's eye crossbuck is sadly long gone. The 8 inch lights are all still here, though, all the USNS and the one Wabco 8 inch light. And the USNS lights still have all their uh, vandal guards on them. Also, real fast before I get over to the other side, that crossing up there still. The next one north still retains its safe train mechanic bell and GS Type 1. So, uh, don't know if they fixed the mechanic bell there or not, but interesting kind of, kind of interesting to see that. But coming over here, we got the new signal here. This replaced the Wabco signal that had been on this side of the crossing. But yeah, coming over here, this crossing's still bellless. We got this signal it has a Western Colon Hayes base. All right, there's the emergency information. Right here are the lights. There are Western Colon Hayes 12 by 24 inch lights with Leotech EV series LEDs. Right, there's one of the LEDs. Right here's the back of one of the lights. But yeah, so yeah, this is the. I've been here a couple hours. There, I might be. I'll get Q521 here or something. But yeah, just here's the back view of the signal. But see, it's crossing still gateless and bellless, and they left the old ACL signal there mostly untouched. Still seeing the heat in that crossbuck. Because it is in real good shape. Thankfully, the other cat side crossbuck, the one up in Banks, is still around. So yeah. Over and out.